people are arguing whether or not the chink in the armor comment on the headline of ESPN Mobile is racist. Sexy Phil made a video calling out the PC police. Sexy Phil has been accused of being a racist many times, like when he made the racism is fun video. And this video that can be clicked on, if you go here, goes into detail into an extremely serious assertion that if true would definitely make him a serious racist, but I have no idea whether or not it's true. I watch his videos regularly, and I especially enjoy SourceFed, but of course he's smart, and if, if he actually was a racist, he certainly wouldn't give any indication in his heavily edited and well-researched videos. However, I do not know of any people in this world that complain of the p PC police, but are not actually racist. Everybody I know that does this happens to be racist. Most people that complain about PC police are angry about not being able to say bigoted words and being bigoted and get away with it. Women are stupider than men. What the hell did you just say? Oh, come on, pussy ass fag PC police. Get over yourself. I guess it's funny that anybody that calls out bigotry is a pussy. Chink the armor is a commonly used phrase. It is about as intertwined with the English language as phrases like in the same boat, ace up your sleeve, adding insult to injury, all that glitters is not gold, alive and kicking, playing possum, and many, many others. But it means a narrow opening and vulnerable area in one's armor that the opponent will usually aim for. The term relies on chink, which means a cracker gap, and it dates back to 1400 and has been used figuratively since the mid 1600s. Now, here's the part where it gets tricky. Here's an example of its use. We would've aced this presentation if Leo wasn't in our group. He didn't study at all, He's the chink in our armor. Now, the headline was chink in the armor, and it's calling out Jeremy Lin. So if Leo's the chink in the armor of their group, based on the headline, wouldn't you also assume that ESPN is calling Jeremy Lin the chink in the New York Knicks' armor? I mean, if you actually watch the game and listen to Sports Center after the game, you would know that all of ESPN was talking about Jeremy Lin as the critical factor in losing the game because he had nine turnovers. And those nine turnovers were pretty much the difference. There was only a four point loss. So he was the reason they lost. But by using that headline, it's basically saying that he's the chink in the armor and anybody with a brain knows that that is just racist. And one more thing, Sexy Phil said that Jeremy Lin's turnovers were the chink in Jeremy Lin's armor. Now, the ESPN person that was talking and said it by accident, I can believe that he wasn't really making a racist comment. But the headline on an ESPN mobile website for 35 minutes did not equate his game to the chink in his armor. It equated him to being the chink in the armor of the New York Knicks. It said chink in the armor, not chink in his armor. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Click the subscribe button to stay tuned for more Linsanity, highlights, sports and news coming your way. Have a great day.